<laughs> nah, bro, fucking Rafael DeLuca looks like he, he looks like a psychopath, but I invited him right up. Nah, he's a cute kid. He's a cute kid, thank, and fucking shout out DeLuca. Ah, uh, that fucking rounds out the ethnic trash sitting at this table. Italian and Greek, some sort of Muslim mutt. Oh. Uh, trash <laughs> monkey. Trash monkeys. We're, We're trash monkeys. Dude, I love trash monkeys. Trash monkeys. Trash monkeys need to go with that. Be a little bit of a trash bag, though. Oh, for sure. When she knows your genealogy. Wow, they're biracial. They are. Yeah. 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 Um, would look at Giannis and I, because we're like New York trash, and get nauseous. She knows. By the way we talk, do you agree with that? But they look at us like animals when we get emotional. They're right. Like, they look at us curious, like, what's these yeah, feelings? Yeah, they're, they're like these embarrassed for you. Yeah. yeah. Like, and you're a TB PhD, a triple PhD, which is... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it helps that Raphael and I have come from Ivy League schools. Yes. 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 That I did is... not know we had such an educated uh, listenership. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is Chris Stefano, a.k.a. Pseudo Tits. What's up, everybody? This is Yanni P, a.k.a. Mickey Mouse Face, a.k.a. a.k.a. Freddy Fatty Cheese, a.k.a. a.k.a. Robo Cheese, a.k.a. a.k.a. Pseudo Penis, Pseudo, Pseudo Clitty. Woo! <laughs> Yanni Papa. We're like rappers. They got, a lot of, they got a lot of different names. So, what, you know, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you for being true world hyenas. Um, we figured out... Um, good use for why I have excess fat on my tits and ass and hips. It's because I, I finally, you know, finally told Giannis a secret and he wanted me to share it with you guys. It's because I keep excess fat around those areas because I know once Giannis transitions into wanting to be a full female, he'll never have to worry about sculpting the perfect clit. I appreciate that. That means you're a good friend. He'll never run out of fat. Um, or skin samples that he may need to make, you know, the sculpt the perfect clit, the perfect uh, tits, you know. I mean, cause you, I'll let you can make a fallopian tube just off my nipple fat. Cause you're a good looking kid. Everybody knows this, but I gotta tell you one thing. Yeah. I don't think you're a V-neck guy. No. I gotta be honest. Well, if I was in better <laughs> shape. <laughs> I mean, V-necks is for guys who are ripped up. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Yeah, it is? you got to go black tea like me, cause. Because we got jelly bodies. Yeah, but you look jacked now. I look jacked, but it's because I'm wearing a shirt that, yeah. you know, you got the V-neck on. Like, right now, I could see your V-neck. It, it, you got serious, serious, like, work at a pizzeria body. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Pepperoni seeing... Pepperoni tits. Yeah, seeing that much of your neck is distracting from how much of a good-looking kid you are. It's This is disgusting. That's not part. a good area for you guys. Yeah. You need to you need to go with the tees that go up here. Well, I would, but that's why I have the jacket on, but it's so hot. Uh, I, Zach Ice has turned the heat up in here. Yeah. So I can't, you know, I was sweating it out. Because you also, you're, you're really pale, cuz. Yeah, it's disgusting a little I bit, I mean, right? your head is kind of tanned up, and then now I'm looking at how, like, briskly pale your chest is. Seeing your chest is going to be distracting for this whole thing. But I got a good face, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a handsome kid <laughs> from the neck up, cuz from the from the neck down, it's fucking it's jelly it's a jelly circus. It's a, yeah, but what about my shoulder? I got good shoulders though. Your shoulders are are good. I wouldn't say great. I would say good. They're decent. I would say yeah. Face is a, face saving grace, cuz. Can I get jacked, or it's impossible at this age now? I mean, you could get jacked. You were jacked in uh, you were jacked up in high school and college, no? Yeah, but that was when I was a young man. Yeah, you had to be almost like a professional athlete to be jacked. To be and I, and I wasn't even that jacked. Jacked. Yeah, you. I don't think you can be normal life jacked. No, right? I don't think you're a normal life jacked kind of guy. You either yeah. have that or you don't have that. Yeah, you just don't have that definition. But yeah. you walk good, though. Yeah. You walk good, though. And I'm tall. Yeah, you're tall enough. What are you, 6'1"? Six, 6'1", one. Six, one. yeah. On, on an Instagram video the other day, I said I was 5'11". Yeah. And some people are like, you know, started unfollowing me. Yeah. Some, well, some of these girls, yeah. Yeah, they did. But you know what? <laughs> you said 5'11", because you don't really... You don't care about reality. Nah, That's cause... why I like you, because you don't really care about reality. I just don't care. You don't you don't abide by what's going on down here. Yeah. You do what you want. Yeah, I just don't care. And that's good. Yeah, I almost, you know, I've been doing comedy I've been doing comedy for 10 years, uh 9 years, professionally for about 5, 
And uh, I was seriously considering the other day just going to comedy school. I was seriously considering. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's eight hundred dollars for eight weeks. I was like, maybe it'll just be good, freshen up. Which uh, which comedy school? Gotham Comedy Club. Who you would go to Gotham Comedy? Jim Mandrinos, yeah. Who I probably have more credits than the actual teacher. Probably. Yeah, and I, I mean, uh, he's a great comic. Definitely. But, yeah, but I just you good know, guy. And I, uh, you know, but I just would. I would. Do you just know how, go. how uncomfortable that would make him. Yeah. If you want. You want to go? I'll sign up with you. But I would go, but I wouldn't go as a joke to make fun of it. I would go because it's, I just enjoy. I like, because I respect co- guys who teach comedy for a living, like a Jim Mendrinos, who I respect. He could probably tell me there's some flaws in my jokes where they need to be, and it would be good. Because okay. yeah. that's, you're a little, you, you say that I'm a little annoying because, like, you know, my parents were lawyers, even though I'm from Brooklyn, I'm a little cucked out. Yeah. You're really annoying just by, like, how hard you try sometimes. Right. Like how open you are for like you ask a lot of questions. Yeah, it's a little annoying. Yeah, like so, sometimes I wish that there was like a you, you leaned up against a balcony in a high rise and it was a little loose. Yeah, and you dangled there for a little bit. Not that you died, but yeah. you dangled off You'd a loose bar. No, I wouldn't save you. I couldn't be able to pull you up because you're too heavy. But that you dangled <laughs> you grab onto a tent. No, nah, just that you would dangle. Yeah, just you would dangle. Maybe like th- that would shake the kind of wild out of you that needs yeah. to be shaken out. Yeah, just dangling off a skyscraper for a little bit. Yeah, until until some acrobatic, uh, you know, fucking what FBI agents or whoever does that yeah. type of saving yeah. come and get some sort of gurney. Yeah. to lift you up like yeah. they do at those shows where they got to remove those fat people out of rooms. That's what they're gonna need for you, cause. Wait, what do you mean? You know, like to gonna, to lift you back up. You're gonna be dangling. In my fantasy, you're dangling. Oh, I see. You're holding on by one bar. Yeah. Because the railing gave. Because you pushed up again. I'm like, kill. Look at this yeah. view. This is a nice view. And then it, it fucking it gives. Yeah. And you're just dangling there by one arm like yeah. that. And then they come and they bring like a big person gurney to get you back up. Right. Like a crane. Because I figured out another way to kill you too. Oh, good. I want to hear it. If so could, does Zach. Zach, I, you like this game? It's a new yeah. one. All I, favorite game of mine. <laughs> yeah. What I would do is wake you up, like have someone wake you up, because before before <laughs> coffee, before you have coffee, you're you know you have no idea what's going on. Yeah. So what I would do was to distract you, just to put you in a, in a zone. Yeah. I would wake you up. Yeah. Break. I break the Keurig machine, so you can't get cough. <laughs> okay. Then what I would do is I would put, I would I would put on uh, an NBA playoff game. Yeah. From any generation. I put on an NBA playoff game. On Hardwood Classics? On Hardwood Classics. Yeah. Then I'd start pumping Beethoven and Mozart <laughs> through the speakers of your house, so yeah. you're really locked in. Off the Alexa. Right. And then what I would do is I would put a radiator cover yeah. in front of your face. Yeah. Like a beautiful radiator cover. And yeah. just watch you go, wow, this is nice texture, and this is smart ball, and with sand crafting. And then I'd come up from behind you, yeah. and what I and I'd put, I'd, I'd disguise a gun <laughs> In a woman's stocking, so it'd be fabric that's comfortable on the back of your head, yeah. and then I'd pull the trigger. you pull the trigger right there. Yeah, because yeah, I'd get hard once I felt the stocking on the back of yeah, my head. Yeah, you would, you would say, oh, yeah, you start to jerk off, and then you'd just be distracted between the music and Game 7 and looking at the radio cover and having no coffee. Yeah. And then I would say what I would say, because I would want to see your, like, look in the eye. I would want to look you in the eyes. Yeah. And I would turn around, and I would say, I would say something like that I know would fucking trigger you. Like, I'd be like... Fascism is real, and then I'd shoot you in the head. Fascism is real. Why would they trigger me? I don't know because you just. I'd get to... upset, right? No, I think you, no, I think because because you, you you're low key. You want to be a fascist. Oh, so I think you'd be like, oh, finally someone's calling me. Because I yeah, I'd want to. I want to start a cult. Bad. You want the Fourth Reich to come back? Yeah. Unfortunately, I yeah. want to cult. You no. blame it on me, and I yeah. get it because I'm I'm German. I'm yeah. full German, <laughs> but. But I think it's really you want you, you want to be fascist a little bit. Cause for the people that didn't know, the reason why you'd use this radiator cover is because you know I would stare. I really appreciate and would stare at handcrafted, beautiful yeah. radiator covers because that's what I have in my house. Yeah, yeah. You're, I'm a guy who likes muffins. You're a guy who likes handcrafted goods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And basketball, I love the playoffs. So you'd be distracting me with that, and yep. then you'd come up with a stocking. Over a gun, yeah. Push it against my head, yeah. Because you, because Giannis likes to throw on female stockings yeah. once in a while, once in blue, on. yeah. And then you'd fucking squeeze a bullet into the back of my head. But yeah. how would you look me in the face first? How w- well I was thinking that I would whisper in your ear, "Fascism is real," and you turn around because that's a, that's a noise. Oh, so you'd, you'd shoot me in the face? Actually, in the face, yeah. Oh God, that's well, pretty good, cause yeah. But you know, I don't get you. You don't even give me the decency for an open casket funeral. Greek Orthodox, we do open casket funeral. I thought you. I would shoot it. you in the back of the head. At least they could clean that back up, cause. Yeah, but cause, do you think with the size of my head, you can finish a job in one bullet, or you may need two yeah, pumps? Yeah, you know, rightly placed. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I got a big head though. You do. You do. First bullet might get stuck midway through. Yeah. <sighs> but listen, cause, I got one for you. Yeah. Okay. 
Because uh, uh, you... Uh, fuck. I can't yeah. find it, cuz. All right, well, here. Fuck Keep it. going. What's hyena's name? We got... We got... Because Giannis oh, was yeah, still in the blue the and I got tits. We got... We brought a little friend to the group today. We brought our little mascot. What's his name? I, I don't want to name him something, um, you know, that can be attached to gender. I want to give him a genderless name. Um, What's a good gender? St- Stevia? Uh, yeah. Stevia? Or maybe we'll just call him... <laughs> Or her. Or it's her. A, wait, no, it's a him. It's Because well, they're smaller and she, this one's got no pseudo. It's got a pseudo, so that's a boy then. That's a, Isn't it funny that the ones without the penises are boys? Are boys. So this is a boy. Yeah. So what do you want What do you want to name him? Do you want to name him? See, for Patreon people, look at that. Kia. 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 Let's name him. Um, Cutie? Let's name it. Yeah, you want to name it um, Cutie? Or trash you wanna Monkey? Name, you want to name it Smoothie? You want to name it Trash Monkey the Hyena? Yes. Trash Monkey the Hyena. What do you think about that, Zach? TMH. Trash Monkey Trash the Hyena. Trash Monkey the Hyena. I like it. That's his name. Trash Monkey the Hyena. Zach said he was thinking about cutting his beard. Why did you say he might want to do it? Because I think that he feels the FBI closing in on him. So you want to get some heat off you? He wants to plug I, I mean, yeah. I'm trying to blend in more. All yeah. Right. Yeah. Good uh, strategy. Yeah. Zach, Zach, today he smells like a decaying corpse. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah. What are you doing? Making Zach, bombs in the basement, got playing look. with decaying corpses. Yeah, well, that's there's your answer right Zach there. Zach saw um, the Han Solo movie and enjoyed it. So, I don't know. Are you kind of getting? Are you kind of back on American culture now? Do you not want to see us go anymore? Nah, the, my favorite part was when shit exploded. Yeah, but Fuck you know yeah. that's what they do. Even the nine eleven hijackers went to a strip club the night before. Are you serious? Yeah, is that a fact? Kaya, kaya. That's what they say. They went to a strip club the night before. They were drinking brews. And uh, they were really immersed in American culture. Cause I got a canker sore. Bit, bit, bit. Where is it? Oh, up here. Oh, that they is fucking fucking brutes. hurts, dude. When's the last time you had? When's the last time you got canked out, dude? Can- when you got a canker sore, that is what they call totes brutes. Totes brutes. Brutal. Brutes magoots. I had a. I've had a. Can- I've had it for about three, four days now. Cause oh man, you got to get that numbing solution that goes. Oh, Ambisol num- numbs it out. Yeah, you got to get the numbing thing. You can't. Canker sores are so fucking painful. When's the last time you had one? It's been a while, dude. My immune system is fucking <sighs> strong. I only start to get fucked up when I get allergies. Like if you notice, I just sneezed out. Yeah, you've been looking good though. It doesn't look like the allergies been bothering No, but I got turned. Does got- my face still look jacked though? Yeah, you look god. <laughs> Cause. I can't believe this is what we do in our life. It's a lot of fun. I mean, we have a good time. I, hopefully, you guys are having a good time. Cause I rolled up to you today at the Memorial Day parade, and you were wearing a Civil War hat backwards. Yeah, today was the Memorial Day parade. This will come out next week, but today is Memorial Day. And uh, did you get recognized today at the parade? I got because I was I was in fact wearing a Union Army uh, 1865 Civil War hat. Somebody thought that I was in the parade. <laughs> You know, I was wearing an Islanders jacket, Syracuse uh, University Orange Men shorts, or Syracuse Orange shorts, and uh, and sneakers. But because I had on a Civil War hat, the good people of Bay Ridge thought I should be in the parade. Have you ever woke up any morning and thought about matching or no? Has it ever happened to you where it'd be like, I'm going to try to coordinate colors, or that just doesn't... That's a thought that's not part of your life. Yeah, it's a thought that I just never... I kind of just, I get up and I go. You go. You know, I, go, I comb my hair. Yeah. I put a little crew fiber in my hair. But I just don't, I mean, I should care. I absolutely, at this point in my life, should care. But I just don't care. Because your face and hair saves a lot of where, like, it, your face is, and hair is together. Right. And it saves you from a lot of other stuff where you're not that together. So do you think without the face and hair, you could get away. have a career? No, it's not that. Not the career. I'm saying your life would be a little fucking wild. It, yeah. No, but yeah, people would, yeah, yeah, you'd be wild. I mean, you just like, you don't coordinate, you don't plan, you go, you, you run around, you fuck, fuck it, you, you want to learn about Queen Elizabeth, yeah. Yeah. The only reason why you're tolerated is because you got good hair. Yeah. You got a strong jawline too. Yeah. Which are two good things that save you in a lot of situations. Yeah, those are the two things that you want to have. Yeah, nobody picks on you because of those two things. <laughs> right. I mean, can you imagine what happened if, if it would have happened to you in school if you didn't look the way you look? <sighs> With that I would have been brutal. First time you took off your shirt, yeah, you would have been hiding them like this. 
You would did you hide them a little bit? A little, you bit, were a little yeah. bit, yeah. No, but when I was young, what happened was when I was younger, you know, yeah. when I was like 160 pounds, I was shredded out, but I always still had the flabby left nipple. <laughs> so much to the point where my mother took me to a doctor because she was like, "What's going on?" And they were like, yeah. "It's just a little flab." It'll go away as it gets older, and it but went. It got. It, it got bigger. It turned yeah. more into. But an when I get really out of shape, like I am now, I yeah. mean, it looks like it truly looks like a woman's breast. It's a little. You ever think about getting a tit lift? No, because I don't want to get a surgery that I really don't need. Yeah, you know? that's the only it's problem. Cosmetic. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. You know, if if it if it would. If if I would have had an enlarged heart, then they were prepared to like do some kind of. The guy also thinks he said it's because I've uh, a form of scoliosis uh -huh. that pushed my left tit out, and then it's just and I just have excess left tit le uh, left tit flap. Yeah, a little bit from the side. From the side, my first of all, my nipple is positioned close to my armpit on the left. The right, the right pack looks like a normal man's yeah, pack, right? That's what makes it weirder. Is it's just only one tit. So, but it throws off everything. Yeah, it's yeah. a little weird. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're a good looking fucking kid, though. Yeah, yeah. But but do you think you think if I if I was in shape, I'd be in the movies by now potentially? Um, yeah. Because people have said I have I have no. leading man face with best friend body. No, yeah, but I mean, I mean, leading man face does every all the leading men have leading men face, right? So that's the thing. It's like I think the thing that might prevent you from being in the movies is that you can't help sound sounding like. You work for right. the local 406. Yeah. 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 Bobby Kelly said one time I sound like a gay Joan Rivers. I mean, yeah. You yeah. sound like a Jewish grandmother from fucking Nassau County. Yeah. So, so I don't make sense. So you think. So you think. You are Queens trash. But in your opinion, you think <laughs> you think the simulators made me so mismatched and messed up that they want me to be discovered. They want me to get caught. Because this is what I fucking truly believe about right. you and the simulators. Okay. Okay. I fucking believe that you were fucking put here by the simulators. They gave you handicapped feet as a distraction okay. to make the weird fucking tit gain less attention. That's what I think, cuz. Okay. And I'm on to you and the fucking wasp simulators who okay. put you here. All right? So what do you think my left tit is? What do you mean? Like what? What I just told you, it's oh, an antenna. It's an antenna. Okay. It's a fucking and it's an evil antenna. Right. That the simulators gave you, and yeah. they used the handicapped feet as a distraction. Otherwise, people would know that your fucking tent is a simulator antenna communicating with the simulators, reporting back to them right. about what's going on here. Cause I know what you're doing here, and so, I'm on to you. So and you, the feet are just a fucking distraction. So if I got so if I got cosmetic surgery on my left tit, the simulators would just take me back. Cause just tell the truth to the people who are listening right now. Yeah, you know that you are a vessel for the simulators to report back on what they what their this is their game that they yep. created. Yep, and you are fucking working for the simulators. Yep, and the way that they contact you in this game. Right, because that's how the game is set up, is through that fucking nipple. Yeah. What I'm, I'm saying is just made me laugh a little bit. <laughs> that thing is, because nobody has a tit that looks like that. So I nobody. figured it out. That tit is a fucking antenna that communicates with the simulators. And I will Am I wrong or am I right? No. Because tell the truth. No, you're right. And, I, and I, what I will tell you is. And are the feet fucking a distraction? Because nobody would suspect that it's a simulator antenna because they look down and they go, oh, he also has deformed feet. Right. So it's not, if it was the only thing, then it's suspicious. Right. But since it comes with the feet. Well, they told me that my feet broke when they dropped me off on the planet. They told me <laughs> they dropped me off a little too hard. I was, yeah, yeah. And my feet broke. But they did tell me, though, that it's kind of looking like civilization is done. They're saying what, they're saying, you know. They had fun with this game, but it's starting to get over. Because they said, you know, what's going to happen? It may have happened already, but they, they've released, like, Hollywood has made a movie about tag, about the game of tag. Yeah, we're at Hollywood made a movie about it, like a full-blown movie that I, I've heard is actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, and so they're saying, like, once they start to do that, mm -hmm. it's pretty much over. They said the first sign was when they made a movie actually called Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer. Yeah. That was the first one, and they were like, okay, we're getting close. Yeah. But now about tag. They said they're getting ready to to launch. Yeah. They're getting ready to launch an attack because they said the game it's getting stupid. Now. It's getting stupid, and it, yeah. we did, we didn't do with it what they wanted us to do. No, with it. no, no, no. They wanted. No, and now they're talking about we're talking about colonizing the moon. They're like they're just the idiot, the idiots idiocracy of it all. Yeah, like why are we going out there? We're never going to be able to live out yeah, there. Yeah, so stupid. They're like you know, there's towns in certain countries that have no water, and people are you know. Kids can't eat, but they're like, you want to colonize the moon. You want to go to Mars? I mean, yeah, it's like, you can't breathe on Mars. 
Yeah, that's the, that's the first issue. You got to give them credit, though. The human spirit's always looking to kind of advance, but yeah. we don't want to accept that we, like most species, are going to go, right? Cockroaches yeah. go next, cuz who goes go. next? Cuz we, we make up, I think they said we make up something like 2% of like the population like of animals on this planet we make yeah. up something like two percent and we're responsible for the death of over 90 percent of animals we're the apex predator how fucking wild and is you want to know it's even wilder that's why because you know how little time humans have been here compared to how long the earth because the dinosaurs you want to hear something fucking wild. the dinosaurs here were here for millions and millions and millions of years, cuz. Yeah. That's how long they were here. Well, we don't even talk about them ever. They were here on this planet. We've been here as a species for a blip compared to how long they were here. Cuz, there used to be a dinosaur standing right where we were. And his head was on this floor, the fourth floor, cuz that's how big he was. Wow. Yo, so they used to be dinosaurs in the West Village. Cause they were dinosaurs. Would they fuck each other in the ass? You think? Probably. Yeah. They probably had like gay dinosaur in neighborhoods. Is there a possibility? <laughs> is there a poss that we're not the first advanced civilization that's ever lived on this planet, and that things it went goes back so long ago that it's just uncut, like no one's ever found a piece of it because it's just buried under rubble and rubbles of shit? Or well, that's not poss. Anything's poss when you think about the scientific method, which is. All anyone should ever fucking think about because it's based on empirical evidence. Nobody just goes on a theory and says that's true. Okay. It's like you have to prove that theory with empirical evidence. Okay. All there is is fucking scientific, the scientific method. It's pos because you, what, the way you phrased it, maybe we haven't figured it out yet, but I'll tell you what deaf is. What's you want to know what's deaf? Right. We talked about what's pof, but what's deaf is there was some fucking huge Four to six story monsters that used to run around here on two legs faster than anyone could run and eat shit and live here. And now we use their dead bodies that are liquefied to drive cars. That is fucking wild. Wild. How crazy is it that oil is the liquefied fucking dead bodies of dinosaurs? Isn't that fucking wild? I'm asking you. How wild is so, that? So should we bring dinosaurs back or no? I think we should. We could clone them, right? I think they can clone them. ISIS. Well, can you they don't clone know. them already. Your people don't care about science at all, cause because Allah is all faith and all things like that. Yeah, the only thing that's the only the only truth is Allah. That's right, because it's recordable history. Allah who What yeah. do you think? Can they clone them? Is it, there's people you could clone a dinosaur, right? Yeah, because that... the thing about ISIS, he reads a lot. Kids are closet intellectual. Yeah, Zach's a smart kid. Yeah, be smart when you're developing bombs. And yeah, shit, you know? yo, it'd be yo, funny yo, if this whole time, like, we just go on the theory that Zach is from the Middle East and ISIS, and but he's fucking, he's just a Puerto Rican from yeah, the Bronx. I think he probably is. Also, did you notice he's kind of jacked out? Zach's jacked. Yeah, Zach, you jacked. Did you have tits though? You worked out. Let me see your feta tits. <laughs> now, my feta. I'll show. Me, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. No, I'm saying when you stand up, can you see tits through your shirt oh, or no? Yeah, look. Not bad. Nah, he's jacked. I mean, the thing about you is you have no insecurities. I think that's another thing that chicks really dig. Yeah, I don't care. It comes with being a psychopath. Yeah. Um, you could be the first... Look, if, I've said it before. I'll say it again. If you're a psychopath, you deserve it. The mask is good. Right. But psychopaths, yeah, they don't have those types of insecurities. That's what makes me suspect that you might be a true blue pea. Because you would show your nip right now. Yeah. If I had a nip like that looked like that... I wear a Band-Aid over it every day. I always <laughs> thought it was like a, a pseudo-tit in the way that hyenas have pseudo-penises. It's a pseudo-tit. Yeah. Wow. Yo, Zach is contributing right? to the comedy. So I have a pseudo-tit. You have a pseudo-tit, cuz. So am I a hyena as a human? Yeah, because you basically have a female tit that doesn't function as a female tit. You have a pseudo-tit. Wow. Yo, pseudo-tits are wild. What? Holy shit. That's why I call myself Pseudo Tip before. Yo, pseudo That's one of your new nicknames. PT, Pseudo Tip. That's got to be one of your new nicknames. Chrissy PT, CPT, yeah. Chrissy Pseudo Tip. Because <laughs> we got another picture of a hyena on the board that Zach found that once again, like every fucking picture he shows, has got fangs on the side and baby teeth in the middle. And nobody understands why they have baby teeth in the middle and fangs that will cut through fucking metal on the sides. Yeah, they're wild. Anybody know why? Um, because they're, uh... Could you eat, like, if I, if I, if I ordered food, like pizza, stuff we love, I wouldn't be able to eat looking at this animal. Um, I would be able to eat looking at it, but you can't eat around anything ethnic. Yeah, I can't, yeah. No, like, you can't eat Indian food. No, I can't, I'm never going in. I don't understand why people open up Indian restaurants. It's not that you're prejudiced, because I think it's just, you're, no, I love it's Indian American. People. Yeah, yeah, it's I just American. 
Yeah, I kind of can't. I don't. But I, you're okay with Mexicans cooking the food. I, I, I prefer Mexicans cooking the food. Yes. If Mexicans cooking the food, I'm good to go. So then, what's the what, why is it thinking of that? It's just because they're foreign people to you. Foreign, yeah. Mexicans have like, been here for a while. You're like, used to them. And Arabic people, you know, when they're cooking the food, it's not that they disgust me at all because they don't. But I just think because they're the enemy and they know we're the enemy, yeah. that they're going to doctor the food. Right. They'll spit in it. They'll put a spice in it. So I can't trust it. That's right. all. But but most Arabs aren't the enemy though. It's just no, ISIS. they're not the enemy to me. But just if you're an, if you're an America's enemy, then you're my enemy. Right. You know, it's what it is. Right. That's what. Basically, if you're an enemy to you know, if you're an enemy to America, you're an enemy to Queens. And if you're an enemy to Queens, you know. Yeah, you can't eat their food. Yeah, I can't eat their food. Yeah. You, I like your thinking. Your yeah, thinking makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, somebody would hear that and, and you know, fucking tell me that I'm the worst guy ever. But you know, no, you're no. I mean, look, we live in an age where why not? I'll yeah. go with that theory. Yeah. I mean, the the. Theories people have today are fucking wild. Wow. Because I saw you today at the Memorial Day, um, the yeah. Memorial Day um, uh, parade, and and Bay Ridge, Bay Ridge of all places has the oldest Memorial Day parade in New York City. One hundred fifty-one years. Fucking Cause... wild. One hundred fifty-one years. So what does that take us back to? Who's good at math? One fifty-one. Twenty eighteen minus one fifty-one. Twenty eighteen. So <laughs> that would be nineteen eighteen is a hundred. Then you minus another fifty from that. That would be 1850 something. 1867. 1867. So, cuz. So, right after 1867, right after the Civil War, first Memorial Day parade. Was in was that the first Memorial Day parade? It might have been because cause the, the fucking civi, the Civil War only ended 1865, 1861, 1865. That's right. So 18, Appomattox Courthouse. 1867, they had a parade in Bay Ridge. Bay Ridge back then was mostly farmland. Yeah. Which is wild. Yeah. Yeah. They had a parade back there. Yo, cuz. It wasn't even called Bay Ridge back then. You know what it was called? What? Yellow Hook. Oh, Yellow Hook. And yeah, then they changed, yeah. they changed it because of the yellow fever outbreak. Yeah. Bad for the neighborhood. Yeah. Marketing was even going on back then. Real estate, well, you know, they were like, yeah, we just had a yellow fever outbreak. Yellow Hook. It sounds bad. That That's what the real estate agents do now. Let's not call it, um, we're not going to call it Red Hook anymore. Let's call it Park Slope Southwest. <laughs> let's call it Bococa. Yeah. And then so instead of calling it. Dumbo's a little bit offensive. Yeah, instead of Dumbo because. It's, 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 it's agro, aggressive. Let's call it Herberview. <laughs> Instead of Yellow Hook, let's call it Bay Ridge. Bay Ridge is a real cock name. Bay Ridge is a Bay cock Ridge. name. Because Yellow Hook sounds fucking good. Yeah, tough. guess what? Because there's no bay and there's no ridge. Yeah, now it's Bay Ridge. Yeah, we only got the Hudson River and a fucking couple of uphill streets. But you know what else is wild, Cuz? What's up, Cuz? They didn't even call it Memorial Day back then. What they used to call it? They called it Commemoration Day. No, they called it Decoration Day. Decoration Day. Decoration Day. And you know that rung a bell because you want to be an interior designer. Uh, yeah. You love to decorate, Cuz. Fucking one of the wildest experiences I ever had in my life is when I went to pick you up one day and thought yeah. we were going to go play basketball and you made me go pick out a plan. <laughs> you made me go to the flower store Cause, cause and You made me fucking go And stand with you for an hour to pick out plants You're like is this one good is this one good Is this one gonna get enough oxygen And then we couldn't play basketball cause at all Cause you had to fucking position your plants and water them That's and I true. to blow my brains out Cause what makes you such a funny guy and a good storyteller And a funny cute kid yeah. Is that that didn't happen but yeah. It was funnier that way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I did. We did do the plant thing. I yeah, think. We weren't but we weren't. Ne we were never going to play yeah, basketball. Cause, I mean, you know, you got to just, just go. Yeah. You got to just fucking sprinkle it up. Yeah, yeah I put a little spot. It's my my things is a little bit of fucking. It's it's a seed of truth and a web of lies. That's <laughs> what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Because, yeah, that's how I know you're a fucking, your tits a pseudo tit for the simulators. Yeah, because they feed me stuff to say, right? You, you, yeah, yeah. Because you, what you, you're too aware that none of this is real. Right. And that tipped me off to the fact that you're an absolute simulator. Yeah. Absolute simulator. So, so you don't even think I'm a TBP. Now you're saying I'm a TBS. You're, true Blue Simulator. You're a True Blue Simulator. Wow. For, for sure. For is that sure. what TBS stands for? The network? You tell me. That's told me to sell a TV show. Yo, now you got another pseudonym too. Not only you pseudo tit, which fucking ISIS. Yeah, ISIS that was a home run, cuz. CPT, Chrissy pseudo tit. Yeah, that was a home run, yeah. cuz. I would never tell by that fucking beard you'd be able to hit one out of the yeah. park. Yeah. Because uh, you know we shouldn't, you guys, we shouldn't allow you to that play baseball. That was an baseball, M80, but that was an M80. But also, your new used to blowing shit up. Come on. Yeah, 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 that was a Scud missile. Yeah, but you got a lot of nicknames too. Yeah. So now well, you're T True Blue Simulator. TBS True Blue Simulator. TBS. So, cut. So it was de Decoration Day. Yeah. And then, uh, from what I read, it was because it was actually slay uh, black people that right. What do they say? Well, they African Americans. This is the wow. Yeah. What we're talking about here is like. Basically, Memorial Day was a Civil War holiday that wasn't an official holiday. No. It was just sort of, they call, why did they call it Decoration Day? I guess 
decorated to celebrate the decorated veterans. Decorated veterans, but I thought like wasn't it like decorating the dead too? Something to do with the like people who were killed, and I think it was Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah, but they that, like exhume bodies from there. Yeah, it but, was to honor the deceased soldiers, uh, and they would decorate their graves of the fallen comrades with flowers, flags, and wreaths. There we go. There That's what it's yeah. called decoration day. Decoration day, and I believe I believe it started out of Charleston, South Carolina, by a group of. Um, African American uh, Civil War vets. Well, that's where the contention comes in. I have to say African. I, I I mean, is it okay to say black, or you have to say African American? I don't know, cause because but they can say white. To, uh, I don't understand what do the you rules. have. Do you have? Am I Caucasian or am I white? And are you African American or are you black? Do you? Because um, I say black and white with no malice. Yeah. If I say you're black and you say I'm white, I'm okay with that. That's that was okay. I'm pretty sure because you know we know a lot of black people. Black people don't mind black at all. Right. But we should check with Hari Kondabulu. We you have check, yeah, we should check with the Indian people, the Asian people, and the white people yeah. of the world to check what black, what, what African Americans would like yeah, to be called. Okay. That's, they'll let you yeah, know. We, we shouldn't ask our friends that are black. No, no, they don't know. No, you got to okay. check. You got to go okay. with the with the king. What does Hari think? We got to. Does anyone have him on speed dial? What's yeah, call excuse me. That would be great if we fucking just called him. Be like, hey, you imagine? Hey, what's up, snowflake tits? <laughs> <laughs> he, he said he he knows he's he said he knows he's a snowflake. So that's good. He said but maybe that? he's not a snowflake. Cause he's from Queens. Too. I don't think he's a snowflake. No, I don't, I don't think, think that kid's so. a snowflake. I think he's a he's a fucking hardcore bully. I mean, give him respect. He's a bully. It's tough. That's what you are. Yeah, it's fucking tough. All right. So it's um, Memorial Day got wild. Yeah. Uh, it, it they the official history of Memorial Day um, dates back to 1868. Whoa. Which doesn't make sense because if 150 years, eight, did you do your math correctly? The first parade is 1867? No, this was the 151st Memorial Day Parade. It, for it, Bay Ridge, Ridge. cuz. Yeah. Yo, so, 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 you know, this is how, this just shows you how um, Memorial, the history of Memorial Day is kind of, uh, mm. is up for contention because there's different versions. Because this was 1868 is the, is the f- official history of Memorial Day. Is they say that it started in 1868, and um, it was three years after the Civil War ended, and it was a group of Union veterans who established, uh, you know, what at that time was called Decoration Day, uh, for the nation to decorate the graves of the war dead with flowers. Kaya, and it was a retired Union general, John Logan, uh, who set the date um, for the holiday, and it was May 30th, and that was the first holidays. Um, observance mm-hmm. was in D.C., yeah. which at Arlington National Cemetery. But maybe it was maybe they're not taking into account the 1867 parade that happened in fucking Yellow Hook, Brooklyn, also known as Bay Ridge. Yeah, because we Bay I, fucking Ridge, cuzzo. Bay Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, because it said 151 years. I mean, it said it today on the all the banners said this is the 151st. Parade. Yeah, I'm not questioning your math. That would make Don't that question, issue. Are you questioning my service to this country? Absolutely not. I mean, ah. you got the union had to prove it. But then this is what happened. David W. Blight, uh, he's a historian at Yale. D-W-B. Yeah, he's a historian at Yale, and yeah. his research tells a different story. What does he say? So this is why it's a contention. He traces the holiday back to something different, to a series of uh, commemorations that freed black Americans held in the spring of 1865. Yes. So that was three years before John Logan on May 30th. Uh, and it was after Union soldiers, including members of the 21st United States Colored Infantry. Fuck yeah. Liberated the port city of Charleston, South Carolina. Beautiful city, by the way. So that's what uh, that's what he, he believes it was African Americans. I believe started, it too. And he believes that that was hijacked. So what? Yeah, it probably marginalized that shit. Yeah. So the way he figured it out was um, he was digging through an archive at Harvard, and uh, he found that the largest of these commemorations took place on May 1st, 1865. When he was digging through that archive at Harvard, did he see Rafael DeLuca fingering his asshole to trash monkey songs? I'm coming up to that paragraph right now. Yeah. yeah. He saw it coming. Um, and it happened at an old race course and jockey club where what happened during the Civil War is there was like hundreds of captive Union prisoners there uh, that had died of disease and they were buried in a mass grave. So the uh, black residents exhumed those bodies and gave them proper burials, erected a fence around the cemetery and built an archway over it with the words martyrs of the race course. Beautiful. So that's what he's saying. I believe him. I, I, it's fucking well within the realm of possibility. Probably probable that it was started off as an African-American holiday and white people 
took it. Yeah, because that's what that's he said. That's just what happens in he's, history. It's fucked up, but it's what happens. He's saying the first celebration looked like this. 10,000 black people staged a procession Good. of mourning uh, led by thousands of school ch- children carrying roses and singing the union anthem, John Brown's Body. John Brown, psycho! Yeah, and then uh, black women follow with baskets of flowers, wreaths, and crosses. Black men, including Union infantry, marched after them. And the children's choir sang the Star Spangled Banger, things like that. And um, so he's saying uh, the Memorial Day was founded by African Americans in a ritual of remembrance and consec- consecration. To consecrate them. Yeah. Kayo, but then, yeah, he says um, it was it was taken. He was taken, uh, the, it was suppressed. The, right. the origins of that were suppressed by white Southerners who reclaimed Stunts. power after the end of Reconstruction and interpreted Memorial Day as a holiday of reconciliation, marking sacrifices by white Americans on both sides. Fucking scumbag. And so whites. black Americans um, founding this holiday was taken by the white man. Because to be honest with so, you. So that's, that's pretty interesting. To be honest, and I'm not a person, I don't hate being white, I love being white. Mm-hmm. I just love. I just. I had no choice in the matter. Mm-hmm. White people are the most annoying. Are we not the most annoying group of people? Well, like when it agreed. comes to the guilt. Yeah, fuck it out. Are we not? I mean, it's literally most of the times. Like when I'm getting mad at someone on TV or on social media, it's a white person. Yeah, most I mean, of the time. I don't like to generalize, but they. Yeah, the ones true, who are like that, the whites are the most annoying, just because it's so transparent that it's full of shit. It's right. so transparent it that it's full of, for example, I'll just like, you know, the people who act the most outraged right. usually do it as a cover for how deep down they're not. Right. Right? For example, it's a good method. Like if you're, let's take Bill Cosby for an example. Yeah. Bill Cosby was raping a lot of women. Yep. He was drugging them unconscious and then doing things that they did not consent to. Right. Seemed to be a pattern that went on for years. Right. Now, what was Bill Cosby's modus operandi outside of wanting to do that and doing that? He acted like he was the most moral, the most family-oriented, the most respectful of women, the most clean comedian who ever lived, and that everyone should be like him. Now, why did he do that? Obviously, as a way to deflect from what he was really doing. Right. So be careful of your prejudices. Right. And meeting people who confirm, you know, right. your positive prejudices. Right. Because oftentimes those people who exaggerate or ex- are extreme about what they are and how you should be right. are usually doing it to cover what they're really doing. Like a guy who is so homophobic that he can't even exactly. see the side of a gay person is probably sucking dicks left and right. Exactly. Or at least wants to. Exactly. Bad. Exactly. And the person who's acting so outraged about whatever it is and apologizing so much for his white race, whatever the fuck that means, because white people are all very different. And have killed each other more than anyone in history. White people have killed other white people? The most. The most. <laughs> By far. Right. So humans are fucked up is my point. Yeah. All humans. Um, so if you find, you come across one of those who's just like overly apologetic, overly fucking social justice warrior, there's a good chance that person has never even met a black person. Yeah. And is, or is in the clan. Or is in the clan and is actually grossed out around them. Yeah, and that's why they're acting that way as watch, a cover. Watch. As because I couldn't see you. Don't put trash. The, don't put fucking trash monkey the hyena yeah, down. As a cover for their true fucking feelings. Yeah, and I can't believe nobody gets that. I can't believe nobody sees that. I mean, the it, example I just gave you. Yeah. How fucking how clear is that? Because if people don't start to get it soon, are you going to take to the streets? If if, if yeah, it's social. I mean. Because you're, you're running on fumes now Cause with this shit. I mean. Are you going to go nuts? Are you going to get your ears pierced? And it's getting like, wild. But yeah, look, I, I, you know, I also have to understand what's happened. Yeah. Okay? It's like, it's a product of the times. You know, it's like, we are an empire that is living during unparalleled comfort in the history of the world. Mm-hmm. This has never, ever happened. This is the first time in history where you can live this type of comfort even the highest fucking 
echelons of Roman society could not live like the poor to middle class live here. So the way the poor to middle class live here is what you're saying is how emperors used to live in I mean, Rome. Because you got a fucking phone. You can order seamless. You can eat a burger whenever you want. You don't have to cook it. You don't have to fucking go kill it. I mean, it's crazy. You're wearing sneakers with rubber on your feet. I mean, those people fucking their sandals. Like, you know what I mean? They got their, it rained outside and they got fucking athlete's foot because the moisture got in there. <laughs> right. I mean, the, the level of comfort that the amenities of Maduro. Get your gun ready. Yeah. Get yeah, your gun my ready. Gun? The, Yo. I'm going to fucking train Trash Monkey the Hyena to start to bite. Yo, Trash Monkey's my pet, guys. He's not going <laughs> to tell me. Okay, he doesn't even have the tag off his ear yet. Yo, the level of comfort. And so, as an American, when you grow up in this generation, you know, the sons or grandsons or great-grandsons of immigrants, you go to college, what do you study? You know? Nobody wants to study math or engineering or something no. real. The only people who do that are people who are born with just big brains and they can't do anything yeah. else because it comes so easy to them. Yeah. And, and immigrants and Asians and South Asian kids whose parents pushed them towards that. Right. So now you got this group, this huge group of uh, affluent, relatively affluent, overeducated, fucking middle-of-the-road intelligence entitled people who think it's all about them fucking spewing, you know? I'm ho like holier-than-thou bullshit, and they think it's intellectual. But it's lazy, it's generalized, it's... It's fucking propaganda masked as philosophy. It's sophistry. And the same thing happened in ancient Greece when they reached that level of comfort and Socrates was running around trying to poke, uh, poke holes in it, trying to prove right. everyone's a hypocrite, and they fucking put him down for corrupting the youth yeah. because they wanted to shut him up because these people get paid off that shit. They get followers. Just like in ancient Greek back then, the sophists would preach to all these followers and they became famous. Yeah. And he was running around going, you're full of shit, you're full of shit, you're full of shit. And they were like, no, nah, we're going to kill you because we have self-interest in being full of shit. So that's where we're at. Yeah, because... I Put just me want, down. I just Put me give, down. I just want to give myself a pat on the back. Yeah. Because this podcast started out with depressing on us, which the fans didn't want to hear. And in just 40 quick minutes, we got you to liberal cuck Giannis. <laughs> we got to LCY and who's the people want to hear. So let's fucking clap it up. Welcome to the show, liberal cuck Giannis. Yeah. yeah. But, but, you yeah, know, yeah. you can't even blame them because that, that's the era. We, you know, it's just... Yeah. We're we're more subject... We're more slaves to our environment and the yeah. times than The comfort we know. is a big... It's just, we're just more slaves to that. You know what I mean? Well, you know what, cause today at the Memorial Day Parade, it was nice to get people of all walks of life out to the streets. Let's Re be honest, though. Republicans, Democrats. Yeah, what would Every, Everybody was celebrating America, but during that Memorial Day Parade, the black the black part of it, yeah, best part. Best part. Let's be honest. I'm going to tell you something. Let's be honest. I don't want to generalize, but black people got more red them. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth about the parade. I know the guy... I know the guy uh, who runs the entire parade. He's an old school Italian guy from Brooklyn. Jacked out too. Jacked out. I know he runs the entire parade, puts thing together. Okay, even and he's a Republican. Even he knows you got to end that parade with the black kids. The black because kids they are by far, by fucking far, the best thing to happen to that parade, and that's who you end with. I mean, when the that's the big closer because they're the best. They're the best. Yeah, when the white when the white bands were coming through, boring, very star spangled, very fa and then the the black kids came through, drum sets. Oh my god, stepping, step dance, <laughs> holy mackerel, doing backflips. Yeah, all the same uniform in synchrony, beautiful, yeah. harmonious, beautiful, gorgeous. Yeah, they played fucking. They were you know they were playing Star Spangled Banner on a drum set. Yeah, yeah, with one instrument. They're just the talent of. Certain black people, oh, here's what I'll say. It's an individual, you know, we talk about generalizations. I don't like to do that either, individually. But as a whole, if you, the most talented black guy is so much more talented than the most talented white guy. You know what I'm trying to say? That's a generalization, though. It is, but yeah. it's like the bet, the most talented white athlete of all time, the most talented white athlete, like the best white athlete of all time is who, in your opinion? Well, let's talk. It depends on the sport. Let's well, see. let's just say overall. Let's say Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps is probably that's who I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, he's the most decorated Olympian yeah. we've ever had. Yeah, I would guarantee you. Yeah. Look, if you t if you put LeBron James in a pool at 21 years old for a couple of years, he'd win more medals than Michael Phelps. <laughs> I'm almost guarantee you that would happen. <laughs> probably not, but I'll go with it. No, but, it's no, but 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 it could happen. Yeah, I I don't know about swimming, right? Because white people love the water, black people a little nervous around the water. Yeah. Uh 
You know, it's a joke, all right? You fucking cucks. Cucks. All right? We're generalizing it. It's a fucking yeah, we're joke. Around. We got a fucking toy hyena. And you know what? That's the point. If you don't get the joke, even though it's a hacky joke, you didn't grow up around black people, all right? Because black people, for some reason, they're a little scared to swear. And they admit it. They admit it. But um, I will I will give you this. Yeah. If, Amer- if, if black Americans fucking played soccer, if that was big, that, 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 then you'd see that. Yeah, we, America would take over, just like fucking Serena and Venus in tennis. It's, yeah, it's not. It's, it's not, a joke. Yeah, it's a joke. It's a joke. But swimming, I don't know. I may give it to the hunk of dunk. Well, I mean, yeah, certain sports. I mean, yeah, like mountain climbing, things like that. Like white people just love climbing rocks, right? For no reward. Yeah, I never tough. understood mountain climbing. I mean, no. you did the Beastmaster. That was a lot of guys who. That's what they do, right? Climb rocks. That's what they do. I, I mean, mean they, why would anyone climb a hill for no reward? I don't know. I mean, to get in shape, mountain climbing or like air, air, you know, skydiving. It's like people are like, oh, don't you want to do that? It's like, no, no, that's not no. Oh, no. but don't you want to just feel like you live life? Like I feel like I'm fucking living life. Guys. Yeah, <laughs> I live life. <laughs> I go outside every day. I'm by the water. I got a kid. I'm living life. Yeah, I don't have to jump out of a plane. Yeah, to feel like I'm living life. Yeah. Oh, don't don't you want that thrill? Yeah, no. I mean, I fucking get on the New York subway every day. That's a thrill. Yeah, Taking my I, life from my hands. Because I think that's maybe why we get along so good, because I have zero interest I don't care. in doing any of those nature sports. People who say they want to go hiking or stuff, I'm like, I'm like I, wh- why would I want to no. do that? Yeah, Bobby Kelly was like, oh, you got to come hiking. With, you got to come um, camping with us. You know, we, we set up tents um, in the middle of the woods for two days, and it's great. You really get in touch with nature. I'm like, what's, what's the worst that can happen? He's like, well, sometimes there's bears and coyotes that come by the tents. I'm like, yeah, that's a no. Yeah. Why would I? He's like, yeah, but I bring my own barbecue and we grill food. I'm like, yeah, I can just go to the deli on my corner. Yeah. And grill food. What was it? Him, Ari, Shafir? Yeah, Shafir's he's like, you can sleep in the tent with Ari Shafir. I'm like, and Joe List, right? Yeah. No, the answer was, I, but you can't convince. Will I go to like, like you know, drive somewhere and like go sit by a river? Sure. Yeah. Why not? I'll sit by. I'll go. I'll get on a fucking canoe for a few minutes. Yeah. I'm not hiking. No. We live in 2018. Yeah. We don't have. If I had to do that, <laughs> I'd do that. I'm not going to do shit that you had to do yeah. to survive just because I can fucking do Fuck you. Yeah. And I don't care if you're like, oh, you're not a man. Good. I don't care what you say. Because you're a man. Yeah, I'm a man. Because how can you tell me I'm not a man? I fucking walk around every single day with tits like I'm injecting estrogen into my bloodstream. Yeah, because the only way I'm hiking through the woods is if there's the apocalypse yeah. and the cities have to be evacuated. Yeah, and I'll learn how to do it. Yeah. Other than that, what's the reason I'm walking through the woods? What's the reason? Why would I want to go with three comedians hiking? Why would I want to sit around a campfire get ris- risk eaten by bears to talk about comedy all night? Because no you know that's what they did. Service. Yeah, no cell phone service. All they did was fucking do what they did at a, what yeah. do at a diner. They yeah. did it in the woods. He's like, you got you to gotta What did you guys talk about? you have some great philosophical conversation? Yeah, fuck you. I'm, with sticks, all you got to... Bat off rattlesnakes? Yeah, like, come on. You guys about? smoke some gar- cigars and talk shit about other comedians. I would hate my life. You just did it in the woods. I would hate every minute of that. Yeah. Because one time, you used to have to get... I went to school at St. Joseph's College in downtown Brooklyn. and you used Not to, have to, to brag. You had, you had, not to brag. You had to, you had to get online to get a parking pass when you were a senior there at 5 o'clock in the morning. You had to get online. So it, we thought it would be funny, me and the other guys on the basketball team, to just get a tent and set up a tent on grass on the sidewalk in Brooklyn, New York, and I didn't last an hour in that tent in the middle of Brooklyn. I fucking took a cab home, yeah. and I rang my mother's bell at 1 o'clock in the morning. I was like, I got scared. <laughs> I got spooked, and I just woke up and took a cab at 5 o'clock in the morning. So it's like, if I can't even camp on the sidewalk in Brooklyn, yeah. do you think I'm going to hike into the wilderness? Because you can't even sleep in a room alone. I mean... Because I can't... I got to have I gotta have the TV on. Yeah, there's no way you're going into the woods. No, I can't do it. Unless your mother's there, would you? No, yeah, unless my mom's there. I can't do it. Would you... Cut, would you, you would do it if your mom was there, though. Yeah, if my mom was there, I'd go through. Because... Yeah. If it wasn't for comedy and meeting all these different people from different places... Yeah. Who would Chrissy D be? First of all, you'd be super Catholic, no? Super Catholic. Let's let's play this game. Okay. And then we'll play, you'll do one for me. Okay. Okay, Chrissy D grows up in Queens, right? Yep. All right. Richwood, Queens. All right. So he becomes a physical therapist after being a white basketball Hall of Fame Division III uh, shooter that yep. scores the most points in his school's history. Yeah. Right? Is it most points? Most points. Most yep. points in St. John Joe's Sa- College. St. Joseph's College history. St. Yeah. Joe's College history. Never, never has really left Queens. No, yeah. never. No. St. Joe's is where? St. Joseph's in downtown Brooklyn. Downtown Brooklyn. So yeah. you, you, Queens, the, you know, it's the same peninsula. Yeah. Brooklyn, Queens, you've been to Long Island a few times. Yeah. How many I times did. had you been to Manhattan at that point? Uh, by that point, I had been to Manhattan. I'm not even lying to you. Yeah. I, I had been alive 22, 23 years. By yeah. then, I'd probably been in Manhattan 15 <laughs> times maybe. 
<laughs> so we're talking about Chrissy deep in Manhattan 15 times, right? Yeah. So then it's not. I got, never been over. I'll tell you this. This is the truth. Yeah. When I was 22 years old, I had never been over the 59th Street Bridge. Never did it. First time I went over the 59th Street Bridge, 22 years old. And this is another fact. And I'm, I swear to God, this is not for comedic effect. I know. This is the truth to put you where I am. I know. The first Jewish person I ever met. Yeah. 23 years old in graduate school. And do you know how unbelievable it is? To grow up in New York City, yep. where there are the most Jews outside of Israel, yep. to have not met one, not met one, till you're 23 years old, yep. two years after he could legally drink. Yep. Chrissy D met his first. That's how Catholic I was. Holy mackerels. Yeah. So you're this guy, right? Yep. And so you go to physical therapy school, you get your physical degree, and you start working with a lot of Filipinos, touching penises, yeah, yeah, meeting yeah. hermaphrodites. What are you gonna do? Yeah. yeah. Helping people with back problems, right? Yep. At the School of Queens yep. for back pain. Yep. Right. And uh, then you're like, you know what? I want to do comedy, right? Yeah. So you go, you take your first class. Yeah. Doesn't go good because it, you're scared of the dark. They turn out the lights and you're like, I can't do this. Can't do I it. can't see the audience. I can't do it. Can't do it. So yeah. it doesn't go good and you develop a phobia and you never do comedy. Okay. Where are you and what are you doing? I would say right now at, by this point. No comedy. No comedy. I would probably still be a pediatric physical therapist yeah. working in a school. Yeah. Making about $51,000 a year. Yeah. Living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. Probably have two roommates. Yeah. Um, D Bowen. D I'd probably be living with. I actually, yeah. I, I I actually guarantee you, I'd be living with D Bow. Yeah. Um, right now, probably in Kew Gardens, flea, Queens. You'd be frying, flying I'd free. I'd be flying for free. Yeah. I'd be living in Kew Gardens, Queens. Kew Gardens. <laughs> I'd probably have a girlfriend on Long Island. Yeah. I'd probably be. I'd probably have gotten married to, to a girl on the island. Yeah. Right now. And that would be fancy, no? Oh shoot. Because to take the drive, when I told my mom that I was dating a girl who lived on in Merrick, Long Island, yeah. she thought she wanted to have a party for me. Yeah. She thought I really moved up. <laughs> She's like, oh, I want to go to their house. Maybe they got a backyard. Yeah. Do they have a backyard? So when we went out there and we went, we celebrated her birthday. One of my birthday parties out there once was in was in her backyard. My mother was weeping. She thought I married fucking Queen Elizabeth. Because she lived in Long Island. Yeah, because she lived on, on the island. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She thought because I lived on the island, she was yeah. like, this is a beautiful thing. Yeah. You know? So I would say by then, by now, I'd you know probably be a senior physical therapist yeah. at 34. I'm 33, going to be 34. Yeah. How many times did you go to church a week? <sighs> Sundays. Sundays. Once a week. Every yeah, Sunday. Yeah. So you have one Sunday. suit. Yep. Pair of shoes. What would they be? Rock parts with a spongy sole. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe. Yeah. Probably yeah. something like that. Or probably. You know. You know. I tell you exactly what they'd be. Yeah. I guarantee you. Here's what I. Here's. Here's what my suit would be. Yeah. My suit would be what I would do is because what I've what I've done before. Yeah. Is my shoes and my suit pants would probably be leftovers from somebody's wedding that I was at. So if I went to, so I was like an usher at somebody's wedding. Yeah. Like my friend Sean Carney got married. Yeah. And I kept the suit pants and the shoes. Yeah. And I thought they were really nice. <laughs> You so that would be your everyday. That would be your Sunday suit. That would be my Sunday suit. Yeah, yeah. and I'd, I'd probably wear like you know a Ralph Lauren polo shirt. Yeah, untucked. Yeah. Now, um, you have one piece of scripture on your body. Yeah. You have a cross on your back. Yeah, and I have my neighborhood on my left arm. And you got your neighborhood on your left arm. There it is, right there. Yeah. How many more pieces of scripture do you think that you would have on your body at, by this point? Yeah. Um. Well, here's here's what at I, least two. No. At least two. Yeah. I'd have another two pieces of scripture, and then I'd probably have a couple of Winston Churchill quotes you somewhere would? on my body. Yeah. So you'd still be interested in history and stuff like I, that. I've always been interested. So in you've history. always I, had a gay interest. I was a minor in history. Yeah. So I you, was a major in psych, minor in history. So the gay was always there. Always there. You just hit it more. Yeah. So I probably would have a Winston Churchill quote tattooed somewhere on my body. Really? Um. So you'd come out of the closet as a little bit of history gay? A gay for history? Yeah, but my friends don't know it. They don't know what it is. They, no, no, no. You just could tell them it was scripture and they'd get it, right? They'd get it. They'd be like, oh, yeah. Get Winston Churchill was one of the saints, right, Chrissy? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 well, yeah. It was, yeah. 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 And uh, so you'd be married Catholic, no question. 100% married Catholic. And her name would be Marie or... Ma Marie, Stacey. Marissa. Yeah. Yeah, Stephanie. Stephanie. Stephanie's yeah. a good one, yeah. And she went to the all-girl Catholic high school, Mary Lewis, and yeah. then she probably... She is either... She and she came out of college either as a social worker or a school teacher. For sure. Yeah. Maybe a nurse, too, no? Maybe a nurse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's a nurse, it's like marrying a doctor. Yeah. It's not fathomable <laughs> to my mother and the people from Queens to marry a doctor. If you marry a nurse, yeah. that's like they... Or you marry an x-ray technician, that's your goal. <laughs> Your royalty. <laughs> now, Sunday mornings, bagels. Every Sunday, right? Every single Sunday morning. Bag of morning, Sunday. Somebody bringing a bag of bagels, somebody's, right? Somebody's going to Bagel Boy and getting bagels. And yeah. you got, and since you're Catholic at this point, you have, what, between five and seven kids? 
Uh, at this point, yeah, you know what? At this point, here's yeah. what I told with Stephanie. With Stephanie, Stephanie with- DeSicchio or a uh, Baticchio or uh, Batic- yeah, but uh, but it Batifuco. would be Stefano yeah. now. Yeah, it's Stefano. Takes, yeah, she takes the name. Yeah, and we would go. We would go every summer. We'd go up to a cabin in Lake George. Yeah, there you with go. our kids. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Lake go, George is huge. We go up to a cabin in Lake George, and then yeah, we would have. I'd have three to five kids, and I'd have every single one of those kids' fo- their first footprints tattooed on my body. You would, yeah, with their birthdays, <laughs> with rosary beads around the footprints. Cause how many times would you have taken your kids to Nelly Bly by this point? Oh my god, bro, it'd be a fucking everyday occurrence. Right? Every day, yeah. Every day in the summer, I would specifically. Work my job as a pediatric physical therapist yeah. where I get summers off because of the school schedule yeah. to take my kids every single day to either Nellie Bly <laughs> or Rockaway Beach. <laughs> That's, where I take them. That's where I take them. If you don't live in New York, Nellie Bly is like an old Brooklyn kind of theme park. Yeah. 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 For kids, bumper cars. We used to go to Nellie Bly for the bumper cars. Bumper cars, yeah. 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 So that's what you would do, huh? That's what I do. And then, uh, yeah, every night I'd probably watch. I'd probably watch a little bit of the news. I'd watch a sitcom. I'd probably be a huge fan of the Big Bang Theory. Huge fan of the Big Bang Theory. Because how many comfortable Rangers or Giants sweatshirts would you have to wear around the house? I would Footsies have. Footsies too, no? Every, I'll tell you what. Every single year, every single, every single holiday, whether it be Father's Day, Christmas, or my father's birthday, I buy him a Yankees <laughs> piece of paraphernalia. <laughs> That's I either buy Yankee shorts or Yankee sweatshirt. Yeah, that's his whole closet. Yeah, yeah. And uh, your kids would be playing uh, uh, CYO basketball. They'd be I, my my youngest would be yeah. I'd have her in Irish step dance. Yeah, Irish step dance for sure. Yeah, yeah. Irish step dance for sure. Then I have them. I have the two older ones in CYO basketball. Yeah. And uh and and I and I tell the kids you know I tell my oldest um I tell Giovanni yeah. I tell him that he's got to watch out for his sister. <laughs> yeah. And then I and then you know at when he got to a certain age like seventh grade eighth grade. I check his bag every day for cigarettes and condoms. You would, yeah, because I want to have a talk with him. But Giovanni had to keep his eye on Camille, right? Because the daughter yeah. would be named Camille, no? Camille, yeah, Camille De Stefano. Giovanni, yeah. Camille, and then baby Mia. <laughs> <laughs> God, if you're not from New York, you may not know how hilarious this is. This is one of the favorite things I've ever done in my life, yeah, actually. Because and everything I'm saying is true. It's fucking so true, so yeah. true. Yeah, so I'd, have, I'd, have, I'd probably I would because you'd have a fucking leg tattoo too. There would be I one have. piece of scripture on the leg. Hundred percent have a leg tattoo. I'd yeah. probably still have a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Yeah, or or a minivan. Van. And you might have a pair of high top feelers that you wear. Yeah. I mean. Oh, and by the way, I think in the whole uh, whole midst of this all, yeah. I may have either quit being a physical ther- therapist and joined the DSNY for the benefits. You might have done that. I may have joined, become a garbage man for the benefits. Absolutely. There's no. I would join the DOT, Department of Transportation. I'd be paving the roads, making speed bumps. And are you third base coach at OLA on your on your weekends? I'm third base coach for St. Matthias Baseball. Hey, you are, absolutely. Yeah. It's absolutely. a pretty good life, cuz. Good life. Good life. Yeah. Who's cook- Camille cooks a sauce. No, Italian no. can't cook if you don't she cook She makes a sauce. a sauce every Sunday and every Saturday. We go to the buffet out on exit 35 <laughs> off the LIE. <laughs> <laughs> That's our big night on a Saturday night, and then maybe we take the kids to the movies in Fresh Meadows. There you go. And your son, when he becomes a teenager, does he get a job on a ship in Sheep Say Bay or no? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna get a job. He's gonna get summer a job. job? On the way to, he's gonna get a summer job on the way because I know a guy who on the ships down there in Sheep Say Bay <laughs> off Emmons Avenue. <laughs> He knows it. And, yo, because yeah. how fancy is Bay Ridge if you're living out there? I mean, Bay Ridge is fancy, right? Yeah, yeah. Bay Ridge, if we go out to Bay Ridge, it's because one of my kids got their first community or graduated. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We're, only going to Bay, we're not going to go to Bay Ridge for just any any given Saturday. It's too nice. Yeah. It's upscale, Bay Ridge. Because it's not a bad – that's a real yeah. queen's life right there. Yeah, and I, I probably I, – I wouldn't say where I'd be living. I'd most, I'd most, I'd Where'd you ha- be? I'd probably, have, I'd probably have a house a house out in Syosset. You'd Long be in Syosset? I'd be out so in So you're doing good, though. Yeah. If you had a house in Syosset, it means you're doing pretty good. I'm doing all right, yeah, because I made the right moves. I know the right people. Yeah, yeah, I saved up. Yeah, because you make, you're making mortgage payments out in Syosset? I'm making mortgage, mortgage payments out in Syosset. My, my, my mother, my... Uh, uh, my mother, and my father gave me the down payment. They gave me, they gave me ninety k right there. Right there. Yep. And cause, how much are you watching Fox News? You think? Now? I'm watching Fox News every day. Every day. Every you just day. leave it on, right? Yeah. And it's I would, on in the kitchen yeah. all the time. And thir- I would say, I'd say, out of fifty two weeks, forty eight out of fifty two, every single weekend, I either have to go to a Sweet Sixteen, a confirmation, or a Christmas. <laughs> 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 I only get four weeks off of that. Every week I got to confirmate, or I got to go to somebody's wedding. Cause is there a TV with dials on in the kitchen? A zenith. Yeah, yep. there's a zenith in the I kitchen. Got a zenith, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then a huge fucking flat screen in the huge in the, flat for, the yep. for the games. Yeah, for the games. But huge flat screen for the games. Yeah, cause you're drinking a lot of beer too, probably at that point. Drinking a lot of beer. Yeah. Big thing I like to do is I like to I like to have a couple of beers, take my kids down um, to JFK, and we watch the planes fly over and land. And you then do that. Gust of the wind, we laugh at that. And when you and your wife have a date in with the wine, with the Sunday sauce. When you hold the cup, 
right? You hold it with a full fist like that. You don't full hold fist, it yeah. two fingers like and that. And I'm not drinking wine out of a wine glass. I'm probably drinking wine out of a world's best dad mug. <laughs> <laughs> Or out of like your kids' like Star Wars plastic cup, yeah, right? something like that. Yeah, that's yeah, a real yeah. Brooklyn life. Yeah, man. real it's Brooklyn life. Bring a lot of memories. I yeah. mean, a lot of my friends grew yeah. up like that. And guess you who know? lives in the basement? Mom and dad. Mom and dad. Mom in the and dad live in the basement. Yeah, fucking yep. yep. Built-in babysitting. Yeah, yep. my good wife's life. name is Janine. Janine, I thought, yeah, oh, Janine. Yeah, yeah. Janine, no, Janine's good. Janine's good. Yeah. Janine De Stefano. Your kid's name yep. Camille De Stefano. Giovanni. Yep. And then you got two more, two twins. Oh, I got two twins? You got two twins, yeah, because you got birthing hips. You get, your hips can handle it, So I can tell me I got five kids you right now? You got five fucking kids because you're Catholic. You can't have an abortion. That's against the law. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. so I'd, 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 I'd have, I'd have my, my, my son up. I'd have a, a, a boy girl. It's a boy girl combination. I'd have my son named Patrick. Yeah. And I'd have my daughter, Elizabeth. Elizabeth and Patrick because you went for the Irish. Yeah, yeah for the Irish. Cause cause you're Irish. Yeah, because yeah, my mother's like, how come you don't name the kids anything Irish? I know Janine's Italian, but, you know, why don't you respect your Irish side? <laughs> So I had to name the Patrick and Elizabeth for my mom. Yeah. yeah. And so how long do you have St. Patty's Day decorations up? How long before St. Patty's and how after long after St. Patty's do you leave those up? St. Patty's Day is up 24-7. Yeah. One of big, big things in my house, yeah. huge things, is is you got to give up something for Lent yeah. and Advent. We start getting the Advent calendars up. We ever, you don't even know what Advent no, is. No, because I'm Greek Orthodox. Yeah, open yeah. up the windows for Advent. Yeah. We, a big, we, what we do is we put up the Christmas tree the day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's what we do. We, we decorate it. We decorate it a week before Christmas. Yeah. And uh, and um, you know, always the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday. Yeah, we always go out there. We hit the mall. We hit Best Buy at twelve oh one. Yeah, run around, get kids gadgets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Toys yeah. R Us down there and off the belt. Toys R Us for the R. kids. Yeah, yeah. But it's gone now. It's gone now yeah. though. Yeah, that but, would be bad. That yeah. would be bad. For, yeah, would be that yeah. would hurt your family. Yeah. Every every summer, every summer, we we take the kids out um to, to Long Beach. Yeah. We have sometimes we have like a nice clam dinner. We take them to Hershey Park. Yeah. Um, we do things like that. Cause you got a big Microsoft uh computer in the in Absolutely. the living room. Room, right? In the living room, family yeah, computer, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a family computer, yeah. yeah. AOL right. email address for sure, one hundred percent. Yeah, I have. There's not. A, there's not. There is not a piece of paint that you can even see. My walls are covered with pictures of my family. They are. Wherever, right? they, you can't even see <laughs> the white paint that's gone. Literally, I have an entire wall of pictures of my family. But how? And I got pictures of my family now, and I got pictures of all my relatives with black and white photos. Because your wife, right? Mm -hmm. She. How many inspirational quotes? That she picked up at Filene's basement that she have in the hallways or on your bedroom. My wife, my wife has got pictures and quotes from everywhere. My wife has had cancer in every single part of her body. <laughs> and now she's, now you're she, making it sad, cuz. No, but she survived it she all. She survived it all, she yeah. She survived it yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, had, I've had three uh, uh, disc operations on my back. And her dad had a couple open heart surgeries. Her dad had a couple open but heart surgeries. But he still smokes cigars. Yeah, we lost my dad early, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, my mom's in a wheelchair now, but she still loves the kids. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> my mom's in a wheelchair, but she still loves the kids. Yeah, she's a good woman. A good woman. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, well, you know, we got a priest. You know, priest is our best friend. And you have a motorized chair on the stairs for your mom from the basement to come up to the first floor. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we don't, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You had to space. spring for that too. That's a couple yeah. grand. Yeah. A big, big. That cut into the mortgage. What Janine does, Janine yeah. does every Sunday morning before church. She goes to King Cullen. She goes to King Cullen. She's got to do the food shopping every <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> and I and she and she calls me and I got to help me and the kids help bring the bags in. Yeah. Yeah. And we put everything out. And cuz. Ford Fusion is that in your, what's in your uh, in your fucking we probably we got a, driveway. We either got a Toyota Sienna. We got well, we got a Toyota Sienna minivan for the weekends. Yeah, and then I'm driving a Ford Fusion. <laughs> yeah. and she has an Oldsmobile. There you go. So it's three cars. We got three because one, one of them's doing good. Yeah, because one and one's for the kids. One's the older kid. Yeah, you live my oldest. Because you live in you live on the island now. What? Yeah, one of my oldest, Christopher Junior. He's a good kid. What well, he wants to be an astronaut right now. Yeah. Um, but he also wants to play for the Yankees. Yeah. So you know I, what I do is every single day I go out there. I, I have a pitching machine. Yeah. I have a pitching machine. In the backyard, yeah, and I just throw them fastballs, yeah, all day, yeah, because you're gonna play for the Yankees one day. Because are there a couple of friends of you who are a little jealous that you're living out in Syasset? A couple of friends you yeah. pick up on their energy. Your wife picks up on their energy yeah. when they come over. Yeah, yeah. Your wife picks up on the energy. A couple of my friends, you don't like me hanging. I can't really hang out with Patty Fly Balls anymore. At Debo, yeah, she doesn't like them because yeah. you know they never really made it out of Queens. We're in Long Island now. We're royalty. Yeah, she yeah. she she sees those guys as like yeah, those guys are over the, the fucking imaginary yeah. line between Queens yeah. and Long Island. Oh, and actually, by the way, we just moved. I don't live in Syasset anymore. Yeah. Now I live in Levittown. Fuck, are you kidding me? I fucking live in Levittown. How did God. you do that? Cause you get this a side is job. So specific New York. I love it. Yeah. Did you get a side job? Yeah. How did you side. move to fucking Levittown? Well, cause was on the side when I started to do is I started I, I do um I, I got a real estate business. I'm a real estate agent. Oh, you side. got your yeah. license. I got my you got license. your fucking license. I got my real estate license yeah. on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Our weekends. Yeah. Yeah. Who, yeah. Even even though I'm not a cop, even though I'm not a police
You have a little lawn in the front, no? I have a lawn, yeah. Okay, cuz. At what point in it, for how long of the year, is the nativity scene or a Virgin Mary on that lawn? I have the nativity scene up there. During Christmas? Oh, absolutely during but Christmas. The, but the Virgin, but, but Maria stays up there year round, no? Year round. She's always there. Is there a light that lights her up at night or no? 11 months out of the year, 11 months out of the year, I have the nativity up. Yeah. And the other month, I have the Easter bunny out there. <laughs> <laughs> no Maria? No, Maria's always there. Oh, Maria's always there. And is there a light that lights it up so that absolutely. people can see it at night? Absolutely. I don't want to yeah. disrespect. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and you know what I do every single morning, too? I clean my gutters out. You do? Every morning, I clean my gutters out. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I got to do that. Cause I got to tell you. Mow the lawn, yeah. Yeah, your life's pretty good. I mean, yeah. you know, Chris, and you got a nice little family, Giovanni, Camille, that, the kids, the two Irish twins. We'll do you next week. We yeah, ran out of week. time now. Yeah, next week we'll Well, and guess what? We forgot last week. Well, we didn't forget. It's because it's because Bardo is on some fucking retreat, and he doesn't give a shit about us anymore. Yeah, you know where they go, the Wasp? They have secret, where do they, they have secret islands that they own. You know, there's really? like, oh, yeah. Like, if you go read all those Skull and Bones books and stuff like that, okay. they have, like, islands that they go retreats on where there's no police or no society. That's where Bardo and that's goes. Where they, yeah, that's where they kind of do that cult shit out there. We also got to do one of these episodes on goddamn that documentary. I mean, holy mackerel. You want to talk about Wild Wild West and the Patreon episode? Yeah. All right, so the page. Bad. Guys, if you want to be a part of our Patreon page, go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Be a part of our community. We put episodes up there that only that are only for the Patreon members. And if you do join our Patreon page, you get all this content for free. You get behind-the-scenes footage. You get episodes of the Bay Ridge Boys. And you get your name read right here on the fucking podcast. So you ready to go? Our new Patreon members, welcome to the family, Justin Arnold. Justin Arnold. What's up? You sound like a judge. Yeah, William McGee. Oh, here's a fucking Irish kid from fucking the Bronx. That kid lives in the Bronx. Mike L. Mike L., how you doing? Because I know you used to do graffiti in the 80s. This kid's name is Mike Plant. That's Plant with an E. Mike Plant. Maybe I- it's Mike Planty. Hey, Planty, how you doing? Jeff Bradshaw. Jeff Bradshaw. Fuck, that's, that's, like, that's like a video game white name. That is. That's like if you can make a white person, you're going to name him Jeff Bradshaw. Jeff Bradshaw is one of the whitest names I've ever heard. Oh, here we go. This is a fucking celeb. She blessed us with our presence last week. Yeah. Jen Bagakis, everybody. Jen Bagakis. Thank you, Jen. Bagakis Oh, here we go. Here we got. We got a twofer. We got a gay couple, Joe and Mark. Joe and Mark. Joe and Mark. Oh, that's yeah. Are they? What's up, guys? Hi, Joe and Mark. Hi, Kaya. Oh, uh, then we got this. This is a this. This sounds like a Bay Ridge princess. This that's girl, right? This girl's got the Bay Ridge princess name of the year. Now, this is the girl that your wife hates because yeah. fucking you hooked up with her in high school. This is this Did girl, you went with her? Yeah, you went with her. This girl's got the B R P N O Y Bay yeah, Ridge you, princess name of the year. You went with her, and she hates her. Danielle Gerardo. Oh, Danielle, you definitely went with Danielle Gerardo. Danielle Gerardo. I know you're looking at Danielle Gerardo. How many fucking times you went with her? Next up, Christina Chianchi. Another one. Wow. How you doing? Everybody, hey, I love She's from Ozone Park. Christina Chianchi, maybe from Howard Beach. Could be from Howard Beach. Danny McGinn. Danny McGinn. Hello, Danny. Danny Danny McGinn. Sounds like a pug ugly. Yeah, that kid's at the fucking bar. Plug. Plug ugly. Oh, it's plug. Yeah, we always get that wrong. Or this this kid's name is August Comella. August Camella? August. August. Good month. It's the month that we both are born. We were both, dude, we Because our birthdays are August 25th and August 26th. How wild. fucking wild is that? We're yeah. fucking wild kids. We're yeah, gays. Guys. Michael Barrett, Michael. Who's, joined, who's joined and rejoined 30 times by now. That, I got to say, Michael Barrett's the name of a, a dick. Yeah. I'm not calling this guy a dick, yeah. but that name sounds like the guy's a dick. Yeah, Bart. This is Bart, one of Bardo's friends. I fucking friends. hate Michael Barrett. Doesn't it sound like that sentence would be said? Oh, here we go. Yeah. We, got a, we got one coming just for you right here. Okay. Sophia Mamakis. Sophia Mamakis de Canis Goritsaki. Yes. Uh oh, and here we go. Here's 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 a uh, Latina, Ariana Santana. Ariana Santana, how you doing? That's right. I don't be eating that way, sir. Uh oh, we got a Jew coming up. Uh-oh. Max Ostrowski. Max, how you doing? Uh, you, you, your neighborhood's doing really good, and we really love what you're doing over there in Williamsburg. Max Ostrowski. You're a good kid. <laughs> then we got a kid just one name, Ciro. Yo, Ciro. Yo, that kid, that kid's. He just joins and rejoins. He joins and rejoins to get his fucking name read on the podcast. You're good. a fucking sick fuck. You're yeah. a sick fuck. You're fucking wild. Maybe that's the kid. You're the PPW. Who... Pseudo penis of the week. Yo, he is the PPW. Ernie Ojeda. Yo. Sounds like he plays second base for the Cleveland Indians. We read that guy already. I don't know. He's Ernie fucking Ojeda. here. Man. Maybe Bardo's fucking up. Bardo Bardo is is You're a, an asshole, out Bardo. Out to lunch. We read Ernie Ojeda. I remember. This, this kid's got a great name. Alexander Steamboat. We read this guy. Remember I said yeah, he was I a wrestler? Steamboat, Ricky Steamboat. Yeah. We, we read, read Zach Arman. Yes, we read these fucking. Andrew McLean. Yes. Ali Boo. Yes. Brenda. These guys. They got All right, them. so nobody joined the Patreon this week. We just reread <laughs> names. No, well, the first half of those did. Up until. Um, Bardo's an idiot. Up until Sarah. So Sarah didn't join and rejoin. We just read him again. Yeah. 
Bardo. All right, Bardo. Yeah, Bardo, you're behind. Bardo, you're a dick. Yeah. Yo, Trash Monkey, I feel happy with Trash Monkey, the fucking pseudo-penis hyena here. If you can't see it, if you're on the Patreon, look, here's Trash Monkey. Trash Monkey is our official mascot for the History Hyenas podcast. He is a hyena-stuffed animal. Yeah, it's fucking wild. So thank you so much for listening. Go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys for all the shit. Bay Ridge Boys. Uh, the Bay Ridge Boys website's coming. Is it up yet? Is BayRidgeBoys.net up? Is it up yet? It's BayRidgeBoys.net. Let's check it out real quick. For all our shit. I think it might be up. Yeah. I think it's dot net. Cause you're the original. You're the original saying cute like that. How do you say? Kia. Cause that's Bayridge what Boys dot net. Bayridgeboys dot net is up and it's it up is up and loaded. Kia. Bayridgeboys dot net. Go check it out. Check it out. We got everything up there. We got our BRB episodes, history hyena episodes. We're on tour. We're selling merch. Bayridgeboys dot net. I right, love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!